And we we're off. So, aloha everyone. Good morning. Good morning. That was very enthusiastic right there. <laughs> nice. You know what time it is now? I know, right? At this time, you don't get enthusiastic. Really? I'm a morning person, guys, so it's going to get hectic right now. Okay. Anyway, guys, welcome to Hilo. Hilo is the rainiest city in the nation, guys. We look like we're good for the next five minutes. Anyway, guys, my name is Sloan. I'll be your guide today. And um, I'm actually born and raised right here in Hilo, guys. So you guys are with somebody that would not let you guys get lost. All right? <laughs> so welcome to my hometown, guys. Hilo. Yeah, it's a little town, but, uh, you know, we love it. It's kind of laid back. Uh, we're the real reason we have what we call Hawaiian time. We're so slow and laid back that we're almost going backwards here. Okay. So you don't ex don't accept uh, don't expect anything fast going on here. Okay, guys, it's everything is laid back. But um, where are you guys visiting from? D.C. D.C. District Seattle. of Columbia. Seattle. Okay. The other Washington. New York. Like rain too. New York. Atlanta. Atlanta. All right. Where? Where else? New Mexico or Mexico? New Mexico. Oh, the New Mexico. Oh, it's also a state. <laughs> Thank you. All right. So you guys are from pretty much all over the place, guys. But uh, you guys are okay. We're riding the same vehicle today, right? We're friends today. I don't care what happens after today. Okay, but today, <laughs> well, on this tour, we're friends, guys. Okay, so be nice to each other. Anyway, guys, we're gonna be. Uh, actually, I don't know if you guys know what we're doing today. Not really. Not really. That's okay. We'll figure it out. It's my first day. Okay. So give me a break if I miss some things or let me let me say this. If I say something on this tour, do not repeat it when I actually drop you guys off. Okay. Please do not repeat anything I say today. Anyway, you guys, we'll be um, on the agenda today. You guys will be checking out some waterfalls that we do have here on this side of the island. Uh, we're gonna do all the waterfall stuff and the barbecue stuff first before you guys go to the helicopter tour. You guys are um, actually flying today, right? Mm -hmm. you, guys yes. that, right? you guys don't want to miss that, okay? And uh, we have a 2:15 drop-off time at the airport. You guys have a three o'clock flight today, so uh, some spots or some stops where we're gonna be uh, seeing today. I'm gonna actually push you guys along if you know we're not doing good on time so forgive me for that but I don't really care because I want to make you guys get to the airport before your flight okay. you guys don't want to miss the helicopter flight right yeah. mm -mm. anybody been to Hilo before no no perfect I can make up a lot of stories mm -hmm. all right but anyway guys take a look at this little pond right here this, this is called ice pond and uh, it's actually a brackish water pond it's a freshwater spring right here you look way in the middle there there's a big hole in the ground and the, that hole actually goes a couple of hundred feet down and that's cool. where the fresh water comes from there and it mixes up uh, with the Pacific Ocean the salt water so it's a brackish water pond and why we call it ice pond is because it's ice cold so if you're hung over you just jump right in that water once you right up so be you right off guys okay but anyway guys um, this is your what stuff you guys don't even know, right? You're on vacation. All right. So you guys already started in Honolulu, right? Yes. That's the capital city there. And you guys notice there's a lot of people there. Mm -hmm. right? Over a million people just on that island. Good thing you guys are not there anymore because that island is sinking. <laughs> this, is the, this is the largest island in the Hawaiian island chain. If you actually consider the size of this island, you can actually take all the seven other populated Hawaiian islands, put them all together. This island is still larger than all seven put together. So this island is really large. Any of you guys know or have any idea how many volcanoes created this island? How many? Three, seven. Good guesses. They're wrong guesses. A hundred. A hundred. No, this island is actually created by five volcanoes. Three of them is considered active. Today, one of them is still flowing, and that's where you guys are going to fly over today. It's called the Kilauea Volcano. The largest volcano on this island is called Mauna Loa. 
it actually makes over, makes up over 50 percent uh, of this island, over one million acres just from that one volcano. The tallest mountain on this island is Mount Akea, almost 14,000 feet from sea level, from the sea floor, almost 33,000 feet. So technically, we are, or we have, the tallest mountain in the world. Believe it or not. So most of the mountain is actually underwater. Okay. Anyway, we're going to be driving through this uh, little drive right here. It's called Kamehameha Highway right here. Yeah, it doesn't look like a highway, guys, but it is called a highway. Okay, so this is Kamehameha Highway right here. And when we get to these grassy areas right here, uh, you guys will notice some grassy areas. Okay, you see that? But before 1946, guess what? This was a community down here. A lot of buildings, a lot of homes, a lot of people lived in these areas. You guys know why there's nothing here anymore? Tsunamis. Yes, tsunamis were known for tsunamis, guys. 1946, we actually had our first documented tsunami here. Destroyed this whole area right here, killing 159 people. Ooh. Yeah, so this area right here is not a good place to be if a tsunami is rolling in, guys. But if it did, we'll make sure the windows are up because, you know, both your cleaning is pretty pricey these days. But if you guys take a look on the left, you guys see that statue right there. You guys probably seen that statue or recognize that statue from the show Hawaii Five Bowl. Right? Okay? That is not the one. We actually have three of those statues in the state of Hawaii. The one you guys see on Hawaii Five Bowl is on the island of Oahu. That's right across to the Iolani Palace where you see the statue standing right there. And that's the popular one. That's the one you guys see on TV on the show Hawaii Five Bowl. But we have three of those statues in the state of Hawaii. Two of them is on this island. We have one, of, one here uh, in Hilo. And the uh, original Kamehameha statue is actually two hours north of us. Uh, that's where the king was born. He was born with the name Pai Ea. Uh, why they changed his name is because he was ordered to be killed as an infant. So his uncle actually took him and he hid him down in the south part of his island in the Kau district. And we got raised with the Mo'i tribe, another Hawaiian or Polynesian tribe that was living in this island. But anyway, this is the Hilo Bay right here on the right hand side. You guys probably seen the rock structure out there. Uh, it's called a break wall, depending on where you're from. Some people call it a jetty, right? We call it a rock wall. That wall, um, that rocks right there that makes up that wall right there is between 20 to 25 ton boulders. You know when we had our first tsunami here? Those boulders ended up on shoreline here. So yeah, this area is not a good place to be for tsunami. Anymore. They said we're actually overdue for a tsunami, guys, for a really big one. So thank you guys for being here with us today. Hmm. But if you guys take a look at this uh, lighthouse right here, this the lighthouse you guys see we see the dates with the line above the date that's the water level lines of our tsunamis guys 1960 look at that water level if we were here may 22nd of 1960 we would be under water what actually generated those seismic waves was an earthquake just south of chile that's 6600 miles away from us guys and they sent us the ripple effects for free destroying these areas flooding this whole town right here on the left this is actually the historic downtown Hilo. Right there, right there. All these buildings were here before the tsunamis and they're still here today. So whoever built these buildings did a pretty good job. They're still standing as now they're actually held up by turbines. <laughs> but yeah, we're gonna we're gonna be driving up that road right here. It's called Wainui Nui Avenue. And uh, we're gonna actually see another waterfall up there. That's after we do our barbecue and come back to town. And then, uh, after that we'll do one stop at our hotel. <laughs> where you guys have the opportunity to try out some macadamias. That's my favorite thing about that stop is I can eat all the macadamias I want. <laughs> but anyway, take a look at this river right here, guys. We're going to cross over this uh, river. It's called the Wailuku River. This is the largest river in the state of Hawaii by volume of water, width, and length of it. Two miles above this bridge is a waterfall where we're going to actually see it later on today. It's called Rainbow Falls. It's an 80-foot waterfall. So we get to see that a little bit later on today. Okay. So this is the Hamakoa coastline, guys. This is uh, Highway 19. This highway actually takes you around north of the island. It actually goes right around the highland. Okay. If you go south of this uh, highway, it actually turns into Highway 11. But this route right here takes about two, two and a half hours to get to Kona, where you guys are going to be tomorrow, guys. That's where you guys, right? That's where you guys yes. going to Kona tomorrow. Um, just to let you guys know that place sucks. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't ex don't expect photos to actually look like this, guys. This is the rainforest side of the island. 
So it, it's a lot greener on this side of the island. You know, we're gonna have a lot more vegetation on this side of the island. Then, uh, when you guys gonna go to Kona tomorrow, you guys won't see that. Okay? It's because we average between 180 to 240 inches of rain per year on this side of the island. So we get a lot of rain. On the other side of the island, they average about 20 ounces. But you have to buy it. It comes in water bottles. Okay. So you gotta buy rain. No, I know I talk a lot of smack about Kona, but uh, there's a lot of good things about Kona, guys. Uh, I just can't think of anything good right now, but you know, give me some time, I'll remember something good about Kona. Okay. Oh, I, I remember something. You guys probably, uh, you guys probably heard they're known for their coffee, Kona coffee, right? That's why I go to McDonald's for my Kona coffee. You can go to any McDonald's in Hawaii and they serve 100% Kona coffee, believe it or not, yeah. So it's, it's not a real, really popular thing for us here. That's why when I go to Kona, I like to look for the local residents there and ask them where the Starbucks is. Hmm. So I'm gonna rub it in their face, rub it in their face. So. <laughs> anyway, guys, take a look at the left. You guys see this uh, little cemetery right here? It's called Alai Cemetery. You see that tree in the middle of the cemetery? That's a monkey pod tree. Yeah, we have a lot of monkey pods on this island. In, um, it was actually introduced by Mark Twain. Um, he introduced it as a shady tree. So you guys will see a lot of those trees all around the island. Uh, we have a lot of those now. Is but it anyway. this side or the Kona side that has the banyan trees at the airport? With um, the names attached to them? Like King no, George and... Us. That's your side? Yeah. Okay. We actually, we're going to actually see that banyan drive. Cool. Uh, we're going to go through banyan drive um, after our Rainbow Falls stop. And um, that's where we go to our hotel where we get sample all the snack nut products, all the snacks and stuff. And um, that's Banyan Drive. Then that's our hotel.